what's good y'all it's your boy ross back at it again with another video so apparently this year's SummerSlam is listed as a tv 14 event you guys are hitting me up on twitter and instagram telling me about it so we're gonna check out this article from wrestlingnews.co and we're gonna see what the article is talking about and i'm gonna give my thoughts on this whole tv 14 situation so wwe SummerSlam listed as a tv 14 event it looks like this year's wwe SummerSlam premium live event will be a tv 14 product andrew zarian of the Matt uh, Matt Men podcast noted on Twitter, this eve uh, this event is currently listed as a TV 14 event on the Peacock app. Zarian also uh, Zarian was the first to break the news about the memo sent out within the USA Network last Thursday about Raw TV's rating changing from PG to TV 14. It was apparently sent out prematurely, and the decision was not finalized. There were mixed signals given. Uh, internally about the change it should be noted that the money in the bank event earlier this month was listed as a tv pg show we can check out the tweet right here from andrew zarian SummerSlam is currently listed as a tv 14 on peacock tv yeah man um i will say this this somewhat gives me a little bit more excitement about the roman reigns and brock lesnar last man standing match Y'all know me. Y'all know what I've been saying for weeks since they've announced this match. I've been saying this, and I'm going to stand by it. If this is going to be their very last match, they need to go all out. And what better way to go all out than go ultra mega rogue? I'm talking about they need to be trying to legitimately murder each other in front of thousands of people. Y'all know me. I'm all for chaos and carnage, and if this is going to be your last time fighting, I got to keep putting them air quotations, because you know how WWE is with that. They need to try to murder each other, plain and simple. The TV 14 rating does help out, because we may see some color. I do think there needs to be blood in this match. I do. I mean, we've seen blood before with these two guys, but it's the last man standing. There needs to be some blood. Me personally, I would love to see a flaming table spot. I know a lot of you guys would, but I doubt that'll happen. But it just needs to be chaos, carnage, brutality. It's the last man standing match. These guys hate each other. Let's end it. Let's end this saga with someone standing tall and the other person bloody. Preferably Brock. Let's just end it that way. Please, let's end it that way. And I think the TV 14 rating could possibly help with that um and the crazy thing is we've seen color between these guys in the pg era you guys remember when roman reigns i forgot what wrestlemania was where i think it was their second match at wrestlemania where he legitimately busted open roman reigns and had him bleeding from this from his forehead like he just legitimately gashed him that's a pg that was during the pg era so i mean i'm, I'm willing to bet there's going to be some blood here and you know i know what they're doing they're definitely trying to hype it up. You know, this is this is definitely a, a marketing move. Oh, SummerSlam. It's TV 14, guys. You may want to check in. You may see some extreme stuff. You may see some edgier content. I know what they're doing. And once again, them putting the TV 14 rating does not change the fact that Vince is still running the show. So just because they have that for SummerSlam this year doesn't mean much because the, the show can still be trash. Depending on how they book it, the booking decisions, how they go about it, how they set up the show, it could ultimately still be garbage. Because once again, Vince McMahon is still controlling things. So you never know. Just because they had that TV 14 rating does not instantly make this a must-see pay-per-view in a sense of like uh, a good... It, well, I'll say it's must-see because obviously it's SummerSlam, but some people are kind of tired of the redundant matches like Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar. But I will say this doesn't make it a... Oh, now it's going to be a better pay-per-view now because of the rating. It still comes down to the booking. still comes down to how they're going to tell these stories, how they're going to culminate these stories at the quote-unquote biggest party of the summer. You know, so there's a lot of other factors that go into this tv 14 rating situation but this does bring a little bit intrigue for me because now it's like okay they gotta go all out for this last man standing match they have to go all out 
And I want to see chaos and carnage. I think a lot of us just want this feud to be done. If you're going to do it, end it with a bang. And I think that rating does help a little bit more. Will there be some edgier promos? Will there be some edgier segments throughout the show? Maybe, maybe not. We will see. But ultimately, it doesn't hurt them by doing this. But I know why they're doing this is to get people more hyped up about SummerSlam. Maybe to, you know, entice people to buy some more tickets for SummerSlam because I don't believe they have it sold out yet. So maybe it's like, hey, it's TV 14. Y'all may want to check it out. It's going to be lit. You may want to be there. So I don't know. But comment down below. Let me know. Does this change anything for you for SummerSlam? Does this change your excitement? Does it make you more excited? to see what's going to happen at SummerSlam? Does it make you kind of indifferent? You still have the same excitement level? You know, has it changed? Or or does this kind of, you know, for the, some people that feel like TV 14 is not necessary, do you feel like this is a detriment to WWE? Let me know right now, man. Me personally, it has increased my excitement just a little bit. But once again, I always have to keep that, that uh, I guess you could say that, that side eye you always have to be careful with getting excited with wwe because once again vince mcmahon runs everything still and when it comes storyline wise and we may not get exactly what we want we may end up getting something far worse so let me know down below your thoughts and opinions on this whole situation but i appreciate all the love and support on the channel man road to 90k appreciate y'all kicking with me see y'all in the next one peace